might see from last year to this year, where have you kind of noticed the biggest culture shift within this group? I think it's just much more high energy from top to bottom. Every person on the staff, every player seems excited to be in practice, seems excited to get down and work hard, which I think just brings more of a winning culture, hopefully, and um, it feels a lot more fun. That's what Tori was saying, too. It feels more fun. She's more excited to come in every single day and do all those things. Do you feel similarly? Yeah, and it, I think it definitely starts with the coaching staff. They just bring such a positive environment, yeah, such positive energy, and we all feed off of it. And I think when everyone's happy and excited to be there, everything's just a lot more enjoyable. A coach wasn't. All, the, all that thrilled with the effort on Sunday, but it sounds like everybody uh, says that, that Monday's effort in the closed scrimmage was a lot better. Is what did you see change between you know those two games, those two situations? Basically, what does it say for this group that it was able to kind of learn a lot of lessons and apply them in the span of less than 24 hours? Yeah, I think you know there was just a bigger emphasis put on defense and defensive energy and getting into the ball. And when it's kind of shown in your face. We watched film on uh, Monday morning, and it's pretty obvious that we lacked in that area. And so then being able to kind of make that shift into that close scrimmage with Chicago Monday, um, there was a lot more ball pressure. There was a lot more energy defensively, and that definitely sparks um, just everything that comes offensively. It all starts defensively. What's a what do you think just the defensive identity of this team is going to be? Obviously, this, that's a big key that Christie is trying to say, making it you know really important for this to be a better defensive team. Um, where do you think this team can be better defensively? Where, where do you see, I guess, just sort of better characteristics for this defense than you had a year ago? I think just full energy, full focus for 40 minutes. Um, and that starts on the ball when the ball gets brought up, starts with a point guard pressuring the ball handler. It starts with the wings getting in passing lanes, starts with posts denying um, the ball, easy ball entries on the block. It just starts with everyone getting into their, the person they're guarding and being more aggressive. Go on Zoom real quick, uh, Lauren Moses. Hi there, Lauren Moses, Valley Sports. Um, so two questions. First, uh, just what was your uh, focus this off season? Um, your game steadily kind of improved throughout last season. So what were things you wanted to hone in on the off season? And then two, just the connection you and Destiny have in regards to coming in together, wanting to be a part of turning this franchise around. Um, how have you guys kind of relied and just helped each other through this process? I think so starting with your first question, just my focus in the off season. Um, I think it, a lot started with just getting confidence, playing as much as I can, got a chance to play for USA for three on three, and then got to play in the Athletes Unlimited. So just getting experience, playing against tough competition. Um, and then in my off time, getting in the gym, getting stronger, working on my ball handling, getting a more consistent three-point shot. Um, and I think all of that just stems from confidence and feeling like um, the things that I practice, I can do consistently out on the game. And then in regards to Destiny, it's been really great being able to grow and learn with her. Um, she was here a lot during the off season when I was. So we got a chance to work out together, hang out, um, go to a few Pacers games. So it's great to just be able to build friendships um, and come back into this season having people that we're friends with already and relationships that have already gotten stronger from one year ago. Tony, go ahead. I talked to you after AU, but when Lynn was up here earlier, she singled you out as someone she thinks has gotten better from last year to this year. Do you feel that? And if so, what ways do you feel like you are better and will be better this year than last year? I think um, – it really comes down to confidence. I think I'm more confident knowing what to expect, knowing what the coaches expect of me. Um, and I think being able to play in AU really helped my um, just game develop. Um, I feel like being able to guard players in the W that, you know, majority of the starting lineups in AU were W players. So getting to play against them three games a week was great. Um, and I definitely feel like I grew um, in both defensive and also being able to you know get my shots off or to go out against Haley at the pro level yeah it's um you know there was a small chance there she was coming here so um it's going to be exciting i'm excited for her excited to see how she does in the w and looking forward to when we get to play her anybody else anything for oh go ahead dustin i want to ask you about uh, taylor mike's i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing her last yep. name right is yep. that right that's beautiful um What's which just impressed you as, as a shooter? Obviously, she stood out. It seems like she's knocked a lot of shots down in practice. What's not just how well she shoots the ball, but how she gets to her shots? What stood out to you about her offensively? I think Taylor's um, really impressive, just the speed at, that she can get her shot off. Um, there's, not a, not a, there's not a lot of space that she needs. Um, and she's one that you know she's getting her shots off outside of practice. She's working on her game. And it's great to know that um, 
that everybody in this on this team wants it and is willing to work for it. And so really impressed with just her work ethic and her confidence in her shot.